So we saw the huge statue of Salavata Yulayeva and we are walking through this beautiful garden right now my next task is to get a sim card get some internet i should find a nearby mobile provider mts i guess when i had internet in the airport i took some screenshots of the map where mts is located i think uh, I should go straight and I will find one pretty easily, not so far away from here. Let's try to do that because that's the first priority and then we have to, I have to uh, eat something. I'm getting a little bit hungry, buy some water. This is again for you, the statue of your Salah. Oh, I forgot the name again. Yulayeva, the hero of Bashkiria. See some fancy hall, but I don't know what, is the, what it is. It's written Toratau Congress Hall. No idea what is it. It is time to have the breakfast, and I got shawarma from Bashkiria. Let's try. I haven't tried shawarma. Here, so I wanted to try it because it's easy and also cheap. I also got some tarhun, I guess, Gruzinski limonade. How 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 to call it in English? Uh, Georgian lemonade. Some green drink called tarhun. It's a nice place and a nice guy. Uh, I should. I can buy a SIM card after that because it's uh, across the street. It opens at 10, but still it's uh, 9.45 or something. So I'm going to try shawarma from Ufa. Mm. Not bad, way better, yeah. It's delicious. I just only... 200 rubles in St. Petersburg it's a bit expensive pretty soft and yeah very well done well done man there are some other stuff also in this shop some sweets and shawarma is there he's creating and the drinks This drink is also ideal for this type of weather. I feel fresh right now. Finally, I got a SIM card. Now I have internet and I know I can see where to go next. Uh, first, we will see some place called Gastini Dwar. It means guest place or guest house. It's not far away from here. Oh, there is a children's play area. I think it's a nursery school or something like that. And another thing I noticed is that people in Ufa are starting their day a little bit late. For example, I went to a shop, actually like a small cafe to have my breakfast. I didn't want to eat shawarma at first, I went there and it was written open at 9.30 but it was still closed and then I went to the phone shop, it's also only opening at 10 so most of the places here are opening at 10 but in St. Petersburg it's a bit different, they open earlier like 9 or 8 I just noticed that I'm right now in a really interesting place because look around those buildings look so old and uh, ancient type and here it's completely different types of building and there it's not those or those it's 
modern style and over there it's I don't know I'm a bit confused four types of uh, architecture it's amazing I just noticed uh, randomly I think uh, we should walk this way to Gastini Dwar right now I'm passing by a building of a university Ufimsky Universitet Nauki and Technology it's uh, one of the institutes one of the universities of Ufa, Ufa University of Science and Technology yeah and that square is called Pushkin Square in front of university we might we could have a seat and spend some time there chill a little bit we were walking i was walking for a long time now we can take a seat i took a seat here and noticed there is another university across the street Bashkirsky Gosudarstvenny Medicinsky University um, Government Medicine University of Bashkir Interesting, two universities nearby So we are almost in Gastini Dvor It's uh, decorated creatively actually But it seems like nothing is going on They are just cafes. Looks actually nice, but uh, no people. Probably it's because early. No idea. I saw that there would be a Lenin Square nearby probably that place would be more interesting to me than this Gastin Dwar Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Can you can you Probably she thought that I'm famous, but I'm not yet. But because it was nice. We will not be going inside this place because uh, it's not so interesting to me. Because there is a Gastine Dvor in St. Petersburg also, I have been there. I see from here it's similar. Yeah, the infrastructure, the architecture is almost similar. So I better be going to the Lenin's square. I think there would be a statue of Lenin. That would be interesting. I found a very good place to hang out, have a rest. We came to the Lenin Square, but uh, I don't see any statue of Lenin here. It's something else. The world globe is on top, and there is this olympic sign or how do you call it i don't remember the leaves of olympic sign yeah it's just oh here he is <laughs> mr lenin you were hiding from us here you go one of the most famous soviet leaders vladimir lenin vital character of Russian Revolution yeah it's Lenin's statue in Ufa 
this street I'm walking right now is called Street Dostoevsky. Ulica Dostoevska. Uh, means he is the one of the greatest writers of all time not only in Russia but also in the world he wrote one of my favorite books all time uh, brothers Karamazov so yeah this street is named as Dostoevsky street oh it's look it's written Ulitsa Dostoevsky in St. Petersburg also we have this type of street and I really love that street I wanted to see how this street looks like and what the vibe is it different to St. Petersburg's street I think it's uh, of course different but I see one common thing it's not so loud less vehicles in front of me some interesting graffiti I wanted to show heart and who is he? Zorro yeah it's just some mess I like the way these fences are decorated colorful it's also kind of a park let's see what's there railway crossing small railroad and I saw something beautiful here I think this is the entrance of the park and yeah this is the statue that impressed me a couple holding hands looks very beautiful for me no trains right nope it's a big lake it's not a lake, it's a pond and it's big. I want to take a seat and chill out a little bit. Let's find a place to sit. Hmm. Mm. I don't know. Here it looks better, but maybe we could find somewhere fancy. Maybe here, but it's it's sunny want some shadow maybe there yeah that's the best place let's take a seat here and enjoy the view so here's the new update I'm in a uh, let's say supermarket center or how would you call it I didn't I don't remember how it's called but I will show you it looks like this you can buy whatever hell you want here fruits flowers I don't know anything you want uh, green color stuff what else you want Mm, yeah, some colorful decorations. More fruits. I mean, almost everything. This place is called Central Market of uh, Ufa. You can see meat stuff. Yeah. Actually, I don't like the smell here in the meat section oh it's written in Chinese also there are Chinese people also working here very interesting well honestly speaking I really don't feel well right now I need some sleep because I had only two hours of sleep in the plane uh, even though I started flying from St. Petersburg at 1.45 due to the time difference when I came here it was 6 I got to I had 
almost like two hours of sleep so right now i'm trying to find a place to eat my food that i got uh, probably there some shade i can see some trees over there let's try i didn't want to eat inside uh, because it's really hot it's like in st petersburg yesterday it is 31 degrees in petersburg but here not 31 but i feel hot how about that place i can't imagine a better place to eat our fast food yeah ideal broken tree i can sit here why not Jamal. 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 <laughs> Генерал наш, да, вот он, он с нашей вот с этой деревни Кусимова. Музей Тагира. Таимовича Кусимова, да. Была создана 112-я башкирская кавалерийская дивизия. Угу. С, этой, с этой дивизии за всю историю Великой Отечественной, я прям точно не помню, подзабыл сейчас, было максимальное количество героев Советского Союза. То есть с этой дивизии не было ни одного пленного. Это вот местные парни. Посмотри. Салам алейкум. Магалейкум. Посмотри у него какой ему мотоцикл. Да. Видишь, классный мотоцикл. Классный мотоцикл. Вот сзади. Привет. Да. Салам. О, видишь у него все. Это Кусиловские парнишки. Вон у него Башкортостан написан. Это самые крутые. Ребята. Молодцы. Шри-Ланка нам привет. Банам Шмертанген. Айдан. Шри-Ланка. Все, ладно, давай. Давайте. Местные, местные пацаны. 